my name is Leanne Crane. It's actually Fresh Start Environment. Fresh Start Environments. That's yeah. what the full title. Yeah. Yes, that's the full title, and yeah. and that's that's what we do. Is we hopefully can get your environment, uh, give it a fresh start, and uh, get it back to the way it should be. Awesome. And so where we're at now, uh, we're kind of at the end of April, 2020. We are about six, seven weeks into COVID-19, uh, the pandemic. And so there's the reason why we decided to do this call is just because there's this heightened sense of being clean and sanitized now, but it's also going to remain, I think, for a very long time, right? Like washing your hands is now an essential life skill versus a, an optional thing that, that some of us used to do you know, here and there and lots of room in between. So, um, so that's it. So I thought we'd just kind of talk about how your services relate to real estate. So can you tell us Fresh Start Environments, um, s- some of the products, the services that you would offer to somebody who is just looking for a better, cleaner, more sanitary environment? Sure, sure. What we specialize in is the use of chlorine dioxide. Chlorine dioxide is relatively new to people. It wasn't really available to you and I to, for you and I to use because it off gases. And because it off gases, um, it's not available to ship in a liquid form. So we sell it in these dry tea bags um, and you activate it. So you can easily store it, you can easily ship it. It's far less expensive to ship because it's a powder in a little, in a little tea bag, um, but you activate it. So um, turns you into a mad scientist. Um, and, and what it's all about is utilizing a molecule that even though it shares the same name as chlorine, chlorine dioxide, doesn't have the same byproducts. It doesn't react the same as chlorine, and it actually dries to a microscopic saline. So this is a product that we sell in a liquid and in a gas form that can fix. I always say it can't not it cannot not work. It, it sucks the life out of molecules. It doesn't matter if they're viruses or if it's dog urine. It sucks the life out of that out of those molecules. The tricky part sometimes is getting to the molecule, especially if people have shampooed that carpet where the dog peed, and now it's in the under padding. It's not just sitting on the surface. It's been mixed with some water and detergent. You know, if they would have left it alone, it'd be a lot easier to get at. Um, so that that's probably my biggest challenge in this industry is trying to be the first person they call before they try and do all these other things to it. Right. And so uh, practically speaking for some, for the concerns I know a lot of our clients have in real estate, it's it, if you can see it, you can solve it kind of thing, right? Like if it's it, countertops and, and those kind of things are quite easy for, for a treatment to cover. It's just when it starts getting buried beneath other things. Absolutely. Or if yeah. it's an issue that's been there for a while, they've smoked a long time in the house. They've had lots of pets that they've let you know, do whatever on different surfaces, you know, so there's, it really varies on the issue mold. Um, You know, you, you, you try to figure out what that smell is. And next thing you know, you change the floors and you've got a layer of mold in there. So it's not just the surface that we address, it's the air quality. Um, And that's, that, that I think is the most important because you're right. When you walk into a house, that's the first thing you notice is how you how it smells. Right, absolutely. And and with mold in real estate, a lot of times it's like you can solve the the problem as much as you want, but until you fix what's causing it, it doesn't matter because it'll just keep coming back. So you've got to look for the root of the problem. Uh, so so common things that you would treat would include uh, pet smells, smoking, yeah. cooking odors. Yes, right now we have a program, it's called our Fresh Start Certified Program. And what we do is we come into your home with the the coronavirus right now, 
we use a product, um, a liquid chlorine dioxide, that's a hospital grade. It's um, called Selectricide. We are the Canadian distributors of this product. And this is a, a liquid form of chlorine dioxide. We actually sell it in, in two forms, in a, a purity form and a hospital grade form. Uh, one is gone through the approvals of Health Canada and the other company hasn't. That's the only difference. The product is identical. So okay. one is called Liquisan and the other one's called Selectricide. So we go in with Selectricide and we um, decontaminate and disinfect every surface of the home. Um, we can do the vents, uh, drapery. The only thing we, we can't do is fine linens and satins. Uh, this product uh, recommends you don't use it on that. Um, but everything else, carpet-wise and, and, and furniture and flooring and walls. And so we go through with an atomizer and we de disinfect the whole house. And then after it dries in about an hour or so, we apply a cover shield. This is an antimicrobial cover shield that prevents microbes from landing back onto the surface. It's an invisible film that sprayed on every surface, on the couch, on the carpet. It dries to nothing, but under a microscope, it's got little needles that are sticking out of the surface that are positively charged. And as you know, microbes, viruses, they need a surface to land on to survive. Mm -hmm. And we create an inhospitable surface in your whole home for microbes to land. So we have different levels of treatment. You can go with the good, better, best scenario. Um, and the best is actually applying a cover shield. And we've made it very affordable. Um, this product comes out of the state. So pricing is, is um, starting to be an issue with the Canadian, with the US dollar right now. And um, or the Canadian dollar and the um, shipping is changing too now. So we're noticing a lot of um, very uh, real changes that are coming out of the states because of all of this. Um, so anyway, so we're dealing with that, but we've got a, a very reasonable square footage. It's 27 cents per square foot um, if you want your house disinfected and it's uh, 35 cents a square foot if you would like the cover shield applied to it. Uh, so 35 cents plus 27 or is a total of 35 for both? Plus, plus okay, 20. so the plus, okay. Yeah, um, two different processes. Okay, so that's interesting. So you do by square footage, not cubic foot. Like it doesn't well, matter how high the seal, unless it's extraneous, unless it's an 18 foot ceiling compared to an yeah, eight foot. It, right? it, it gets a little cost prohibitive when you're, you know, taking the square footage and then multiplying it by eight or 10 feet and then adding, multiplying that number to it. Um, you're right though. We're not doing square footage. We are doing cubic feet. Uh, we're doing your vents. I pull the filter out of your furnace we go in through the cold air return. Um, and that's been the most dramatic difference when we do a house is, you know, we always recommend to please get your ducts cleaned professionally first. Right. Um, it helps if you remove the source of any smell. Um, but the vents are dramatic. It's absolutely dramatic. And it, we hands down change your air quality. We, we had a house in New Brunswick that had uh, five feet of raw sewage infiltrate his house during a flood um, for just over a week. And after everything um, dried out, they had to rip all the drywall and everything and take it right back to the studs. But the smell was <clears throat> absolutely horrible. And he used the, the uh, chlorine dioxide liquid. He used our gas kits. We have chlorine dioxide in a gas form. Um, and then he used our cover shield product and completely fixed his house. Um, it, was, it was dramatic, just wow. dramatic. So we've, we've seen the worst of the worst and, you know, everything in between. 
So Leanne, I'm curious, uh, once you treat the uh, antimicrobials, so the, the preventative uh, surface treatment uh, so that things can't land and stay on surfaces, how long would you expect that to last? I would imagine there's high wear areas, there's low wear areas, like a kitchen counter would wear a lot more, let's say, than a wall typically. So what could I expect there? On a wall, on a ceiling, something that's not touched um, indefinitely, really. Um, on a t surface that's touched, the needles wear down and it has to be reapplied between one and three months, depending on, you know, it could be a chair that you're sitting on constantly, that sort of thing. Um, so it's, it's, it's the high traffic areas that we reapply um, every one to three months, I would say. Okay. Now, how does what you do differ than, let's say, me as a homeowner, uh, you know, grabbing, you know, my favorite uh, green cleaning product or something like that and, and going about my process? Like, what is the real difference there? Well, first of all, the equipment that we use, we use an atomizer. This is um, it's a portable little unit. It's a gallon and a half tank. And it's the best product for getting into all the nooks and crannies. Uh, this thing doesn't miss a spot. And chlorine dioxide, you wipe it after, especially during the coronavirus, it's as a disinfectant, you have to give it the contact time that it needs. So after 10 minutes, if you want to wipe it, you go ahead, like on hard surfaces and stuff. Uh, give it the 10 minute contact. But you can let it dry. It dries to a microscopic saline. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a product that um, you can spray on everything and we do with this machine. So our service is very thorough. And then after we spray everything down, then we go through and we wipe. It's, it's probably the best cleaning your house has ever had in some cases. Um, we get all kinds of comments when we're done. Um, so the, the uh, um, professionalism that we take in the care of doing the house, um, and it's from experience. I know by looking at something, oh, I can make that look better. Um, you know, and I'm, and I, and I'm very, we're very cautious about the surfaces that we treat. We do a color fast test. If there's anything that were, is questionable, I don't want to ruin anybody's furniture. Mm -hmm. um, chlorine dioxide, you can read about it on the internet, of course. And a lot of the stories that are um, high parts per million and do dramatic things um, in this industry, uh, we don't use it at that strength. We use it up to about 200 parts per million. Uh, chlorine dioxide will do what it does best between 50 and 100. We don't know what we're going into. It could be, you know, feces or mold or viruses. So we have it a little bit stronger. You can actually take it up to 400 parts per million very safely. Um, especially when we're dealing with uh, uh, cigar and cigarette houses or vehicles. Um, vehicles to me are like shooting fish in a barrel. There's not a smell we can't get out of uh, a vehicle, that's for sure. It, it, with the houses and cars, um, it's finding the source of the smell. And then you know, as you said, you know how to deal with it. So, um, so our treatments are, are just very thorough. I guarantee you um, that you know, we're going to do every inch of your house from the air you breathe to the surfaces you touch. And sometimes even the surfaces you don't see inside your vents and those kind of things. Absolutely. So day of the treatment, typically, so I'm, I've just closed on a house. I've gotten the keys. You're coming in, you know, maybe that day, maybe the next day. Uh, what can we expect as far as how long it takes you to do, let's say, a 2,000 square foot home? Um, you know, how long would I have to leave the house for? When can I bring my pets back in safely? Can you talk a bit about that, about that day of the treatment? Sure, especially when there's nothing in it, um, it goes a lot quicker and and um, it, uh, it, a lot 
a lot more thorough. You're not moving furniture around and, and stuff like that. So it typically takes us maybe about an hour, hour and a half, up to two hours, um, depending on how many rooms. Um, but every surface is sprayed. Um, we're getting rid of the other guy's smell for you. Okay, good. So, and then I, I leave it for, now you mentioned uh, maybe an hour, hour and a half is, yeah. is yeah. Okay. So I could come in after that then. Absolutely. And that's if you spray. Now you mentioned there's also that I could, I could have the packet and I could have that. I sure. could activate it myself. Is that different or is that about the same time frame? Yes. The, that's more of a decontamination. That's when okay. uh, we're dealing with cigarette houses um, with crazy cat houses. Um, those are the situations where we use a paint and primer approach. We use the liquid first um, to if clean, but primarily elevate the humidity. Uh, chlorine dioxide works best in an elevated humidity. So when you're doing that in an environment that you're going to gas right afterwards, I mean, it, it's a home run. Nothing can hide from it. Um, chlorine dioxide is is basically a gas molecule that we have suspended in a in a liquid in water, um, but it's um, described as a paramagnetic radical and it's magnetically attracted to microorganisms. Um, there's no way, especially when we're doing a decontamination. There's absolutely no way anything can survive. So in that case, people, pets, and plants are removed from the premises, but that's it. I mean, your furniture has never had such a, a deep clean. Um, and and the, the process is an overnighter. That's when you have to be out of the house overnight. The gas kits are going off. No one can be home. Then the next day we come back we safely remove the gas kits. We air out the property. You're usually back in it by noon. Okay, good. So about a 24 hour, if you're going to go for that really yep. hardcore, yep. you know, yep. kind of to the max level. Yeah. Other than that, we're there for a couple of hours doing a complete spray. I wipe down if I have to any surfaces and then we just let it dry. If you let chlorine dioxide dry, um, when you're sucking the life out of molecules, that takes time. You got to leave it alone for a little while. For and sure. um, that's what chlorine dioxide likes to do best. So if you leave it alone and, and let it dry, it dries very quickly and um, can be used on any surface. So we really can do the whole house. That's amazing. Because even if I look at, there was a study uh, done with homes, real estate wise for homes that smell like smoke and how the value decreases. Yeah. And it's, it's huge. I've seen where clients have walked into a home that would have been great for them, but they're turned off by the smoke smell. And so the studies have said anywhere between a five and 20% decrease in value as a result of, of smoke. And then I think about, well, what's the opportunity to remedy that? how much remedy can be done because the old solution was, well, you know, you open the windows and you grab a cloth and wipe the walls down and you, Light you wash all the, the drapes and those kind of things. But it doesn't yeah. really do the job that it, that needs to be done. And I'm hearing from you is there's a much better way to do it. Uh, still cost effective enough. You might be able to buy that home on the cheap and then, and then end up with, something that you're you're quite happy with if you're not a smoker especially if you like the color and if you like the color of the walls and it's typically not a house you want to paint anyway why not just clean it you're going to clean it anyway you're going to try and clean it anyway so use a product that's going to break down that molecule and it's it's a multi-purpose cleaner with attitude i mean this stuff if you give it the contact time of about 10 15 minutes and then with a microfiber cloth start wiping i mean the yellow that comes off it's absolutely remarkable but i've done popcorn ceilings that i can't wipe i'm not even gonna i can't even get up there but after it dries you can see that it's lightened you can see it it's right. not as yellow as it was before it may not be a hundred percent but you've certainly made a dramatic difference in this popcorn ceiling. What we've also found out 
is if you soak liquisan, if you have a painted popcorn ceiling, apparently they're really hard to uh, remove unless you have a, a high-end scraper. Um, they, uh, you soak it down with the liquisan and you can use a, a, um, a scraper and just scrape the ceiling off. Okay, so uh, you're kind of that. doing two jobs in one there, basically. Yeah. yeah, Yeah. so we have general contractors that really play around with this stuff. Um, but the biggest thing I just want to let everybody know is don't paint. That's the worst. I have a client that they have a house that was painted over with um, all the special primers that they tell you work. But their bathroom, every time they have a shower, the walls bleed yellow. It's oh. this beigey color. And the short of it is they got to cut the drywall out. Um, I've talked to general contractors about, you know, oh, can you sand the walls? And they say the same thing. Why bother? You know, give me a knife. I'll cut the drywall out and I'll re-drywall it and it'll be so much better. Yeah, because um, a sheet of drywall is not too expensive. It's, yeah. No kidding, you know. So, it's just like a shirt that you've kind of ruined. You just say, well, you know, the shirt is gone at this point i'm just gonna go have to buy another shirt right exactly. it's yeah. Exactly. yeah so we we if we can get to that house before they paint um that's 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 what we need and then we can fix it every single time there has never ever been a house that i can't fix we've had some pretty tough challenges and it it gets worse for us because um i did a skunk house um, a few weeks ago and someone told this person on the internet that if you boil vinegar um, it would help the smell in your house so I walk in and not only does it smell like skunk but it smells like vinegar like you cannot believe <laughs> it smells like a skunk that swam oh. in vinegar oh. <laughs> <It is. laughs> I said, this is oh. really bad so wow. the first the first thing that I noticed was the dog got sprayed on the side of the face and got it in his mouth and his breath was absolutely terrible so before he knew what happened i took the nozzle and i put it in the corner of his mouth and i gave him a quick squirt and most of it he spit out i didn't put enough in that's going to kill him that's for sure right and he went over to his owner and i took the smell out of his breath within 30 seconds Wow. And then he wouldn't come near me. So I handed her my bottle and I said, okay, I'm going to go now. You need to do what you need to do and spray him where he got it. About an hour later, I got a picture of him sleeping on the owner's bed. And the caption was, Max, thanks you. Wow. <laughs> he got to sleep with his parents the night that he got skunked. And I wow. think that's pretty impressive. Oh, it is for sure. Yeah. That's so. funny eh, with dogs. You got a little, put, put a little peanut butter on the end just to get them to <laughs> chew on it and give them a good spray. That's it's great. Scary. I mean, I could, I could tell that you're very um, excited and passionate to really solve these problems because that's what it is. The odors and the, you know, COVID, and, uh, these are all problems that need real solutions. So you have a lot of different products. You can quote somebody where, geographically. I mean, where would you work? Like how, if we drew a radius, let's say around home base of Milton, how far would you go? Um, we do uh, Brampton, Oakville, uh, Burlington. Uh, you know, it depends how desperate the voice is over that phone. Uh, we've driven to Collingwood. Um, you know, there's just certain situations that you, you can't turn your back on, especially when they've tried other things and this is, come on, this is their last resort. And I always think, I wish I was their first resort, but that's yeah. okay. I can still help. Um, I think that about real estate too. People have gone through a couple of agents and I thought, well, you know, <laughs> you didn't call me first, but you won't have to call anyone else after me, right? That's right. That's right. At least they found you. At least yeah. they found you. So, Good. yeah. So, we do, you know, the GTA area. Um, chlorine dioxide, because it can't be shipped um, as a liquid, we um, have people that come to our house and we sell it by the bottle for them. Um, it's a bottle like this. And it's, it's just a, a really good trial size 
to play around with it. And I think that's how I sold your wife, actually. Yep. I, I recognize <laughs> that bottle well. We have it in our house. And for, I mean, now with COVID, we're doing, we're doing that extra level for some of our staging supplies and those kind of things, right? And, and especially if you've had a busy open house or something, you know, you can walk around the house and spray the air, spray the, the walls, give everything a light mist and just leave it alone. And there's no bad smell or anything. It might smell like a bit of a pool house, um, but it's a, it, that's the smell that, you know, there's something that's, that's working. Mm -hmm. And, um, the best thing that I like is it doesn't leave a uh, chlorine bleach smell and the, the residue that you get from chlorine bleach that you have to rinse off. Mm -hmm. Um, you don't get this from this product and, and that's the best thing I think for chlorine dioxide, the big shout out, because when you say chlorine dioxide, People think, oh, it's bleach or, you know, it's chlorine, but it's not. The two molecules are so completely different. Right. Yeah, because even salt itself is just, it's sodium chloride, right? It's right. like chorine right. and chloride is, yeah, That's it's right. not necessarily, it's, yeah. yeah. It starts off as sodium sodium chloride, but then it gets broken down into a chloride and it's got a single um, um, uh, molecule, uh, it's, it, it's an oxidizer that, um, wants to suck the life out of other molecules. That's what it does. It doesn't join the aromatic ring of that molecule and turn it into like a dioxin or something. It doesn't mm -hmm. do that. It pulls the ions from the middle of it. It rips a hole in the side of it. It disrupts the cell membrane. It's a permanent kill and it flies on to the next one. And that's, it's baffled scientists for years. They can't figure out why it does that. Um, but that's what chlorine dioxide um, does. And the molecule is a gas that's trapped in the liquid. And because it doesn't hydrolyze, chlorine dioxide stays as a whole gas molecule in water that's the that's the the brains behind it um and it's it, through that format now we've been able to enjoy it in a liquid format that i mean to me that's the groundbreaker of this molecule as a gas i could tell you stories that would blow your mind but in the liquid form is just a, a game changer in this industry makes it, it easy for you and I to use and that's what it needed. Yeah. Good. So somebody could start with a, something as simple as just getting a bottle and seeing if they, they really notice the difference all the way up to a full, yeah. you know, then, deep, deep, then, deep clean. Yeah. Then we would sell you a, a tea bag that you get a two gallon pool container. That's what we recommend people store it in is um, go to a pool store and get those yellow, 10 liter jugs mm -hmm. and um, mix that with cold water, drop the tea bag in it and keep it in a cool place in your basement or out of sunlight. And that's what you're going to refill your bottle and use as a multi-purpose cleaner. You know, you can mix it three to one and wash your floors with it and your windows um, and then use it for all your general cleaning. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's, um, it's, it's something that will never let you down. And that's, if I can say one final thing about it is that it will never let you down. Great. Well, that sounds like an offer that's too good to refuse. So how would somebody reach out to you to explore your, your options? I know you've got a website, it's freshstart.pro, right? right. Uh, yeah. Phone number, email, how would you like somebody to reach out to you, you for your help? You can call me. You can call me. I love it when people uh, use our website and buy over the internet, but I like to talk to people and find out exactly what they're using it for. Are they going to use it right? Did they get the right amount? Maybe they're buying too much um, or not enough. Um, so my best way is my phone number is 905-875-8722. But please L Crane with a K, K-R-A-N-E at freshstart.pro is the best way to reach me as well. Super. Okay. Thanks for your time, Leanne. Thank you very much, Chuck. Stay well, okay? You too. Thanks. Bye-bye.